Greetings. Welcome back to my channel, Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. I live in Prescott, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV with my name and my call sign. I also have a motto for this channel, and that is one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. For those of you who want to understand that, it means that I don't give too much as far as my opinions are concerned. I let the testing and the results that I get from the testing do the speaking for me. However, I always give you my opinion at the very end based on all the results of all the testing that I do. So kick back and relax and I'll be right back and I'll show you the antenna and the okay. pack. This antenna that I'm working on today is made by Comet, uh, one of the large uh, antenna manufacturers. And the model number of it is the CH-32. And it is also called the Miracle Baby. Uh, that's by Comet themselves. So here's, uh, here's the antenna itself. As you can see, it's quite small. It's got nice silver uh, uh, lettering on it, all printed. It's not a label or anything like that. And it comes with the BNC connector. And uh, here's the packaging that it comes in. Nothing to write home about, nothing spectacular. I know it's backwards. Uh, but, uh, you know, just uh, so you know that this is uh, how it becomes packaged. This is an original Comet antenna. I've verified that. The antenna itself, again, is made by Comet. The model number is the R, or I'm sorry, CH-32, and it's called the Miracle Baby. This is considered a tri-band antenna. They um, advertise it as being for the 2-meter, 70-centimeter, uh, and the 20, or I'm sorry, the 33-centimeter bands. So that's the 900 megahertz band. It is one and three-quarter inches long, made out of hard plastic. As a BNC male connector, uh, the manufacturer specifies it as being a 50 ohm antenna, and uh, it does not uh, specify it having any uh, SWR, any resonance, or any wave uh, uh, specifications. Um, however, it is specified as being a maximum 10 watt input. Um, on uh, Amazon, I paid $35.99 plus prime shipping for it. Um, one other thing to note is that, of course, because it has the BNC connector, it does not come with a rubber grommet. However, I do believe that it does come with a rubber grommet if you do get the SMA female connector. Anyway, um, sit back and relax, and I'm going to get to doing some testing. Okay, we're starting our test cell using the Power SWR meter uh, on the uh, two meter frequency. Get an SWR of about 3.82 at 5.98 watts. Next up, we're doing the power SWR test on the 70 centimeter band. We come up an SWR of 1.00 at 4.63 watts. And last but not least, we're testing the uh, Comet CH32 Miracle Baby antenna on the GMRS channel 16 come up with 2.53 at 3.96 watts all right as we always do we run the nano vna swr test to verify the results of the power swr meter so i'm going to turn this on and it's going to immediately default to the calibrated two meter band And at the center of the band, Oops. center of the band, we have 6.710 at 146 megahertz. We will do the test on the calibrated 70 centimeter band. We got an interesting curve here at the low end of the band we're at 1.122 and at the center of the band we are at 100, 435 megahertz we're at 2.539 and for our GMRS fans out there we're going to do a calibration We go nice black curve and at the center of the band 
uh, it's 465 megahertz. We have an SWR of 2.655. Okay, we're testing the Comet CH32 Miracle Baby antenna for field strength on the 2 meter band. Now we're testing the Comet CH32 Miracle Baby antenna on the 70 centimeter band. And last but not least, we are testing the Comet CH32 Miracle Baby antenna on the GMRS channel 16. Okay, I'm back out at my favorite park. Um, this park is um, situated about a quarter to three-eighths of a mile from my home. Uh, it has a, an outbuilding uh, and uh, two to three homes. Uh, structures uh, in between uh, here and my uh, base station antenna. Uh, also I am underneath a, a steel gazebo structure which also helps interfere with the uh, transmission of the uh, of uh, the HT antennas. Um, plus I also have high voltage lines up behind me. So between all of that um, not so great stubby antennas will have a little bit of a challenge to uh, get to my base station without uh, producing any static and the better antennas will uh, get through without having any static whatsoever. So let me come right back and I'll get set up and we can test the Comet um, CH32 stubby antenna. Okay I'm back I'm all set up to test the Comet uh, CH32 stubby antenna also called the Miracle Baby. Let's get the testing. I have my Baofeng uh, UV-17 Pro GPS right here, and we're all set up on the 2-meter band. This is N8DAV. I'm testing 1, 2, 3. And I'm testing 1, 2, 3. I'm testing the Comet CH32 Stubby Antenna, also known as the Miracle Baby. This is N8DAV. I'm testing 1, 2, 3. And I'm testing 1, 2, 3. I'm testing the Comet. CH32 stubby antenna, also known as the Miracle DB. Okay, as you heard, there was absolutely no static whatsoever, so this antenna is getting really, really well into my base station. And um, so this is a, a, a good test, a good field test. And so um, let's go back to my ham shack and uh, we can review all the uh, other tests and the results that we got and uh, maybe come up with a, a, an opinion. All right, let's see you back there in just a minute. Okay, we're back in my ham shack. What did we learn today for the Comet R, I'm sorry, CH32 Miracle Baby antenna? Well, we learned that the antenna is not tuned for the two meter band. It is definitely tuned for the um, 70 centimeter and uh, the UHF frequency band. Um, we got a, SWR of 3.8 uh, on the power SWR meter and the nano VNA uh, oops, I have the... nano VNA uh, did not verify uh, that SWR and I came out with 6.6 .6 on the nano VNA uh, for the two meter band so it's very obvious it's not tuned for two meters however on the 70 centimeter band the power SWR meter got 1.00 can't get any better than that and the nano vna backed that up with a 1.1 1 .1. uh so doing pretty darn good now the 1.1 1 .1 was at 447.300 megahertz at the center of the band which is 435 megahertz uh we got 2.5 which is still very very good um now on the uh, gmrs band we did very well as well. We got 2.39 on the power SWR meter and 2.6 on the uh, nano VNA. So the nano VNA um, backed up pretty much all the results. Uh, it was pretty far apart uh, on the two meter band, but it still goes to show you that the two meter band, uh, it, the antenna was just not tuned for that. And both the power SWR meter and the nano VNA both basically showed that with the nano VNA uh, being the, uh, the the worst of the two, and I do believe the nano VNA results uh, more so than the power SWR meter. Now, uh, what was our, our uh, next test? The 
field strength meter testing. Field strength meter testing, the two meter band uh, field strength came in a little bit lower than the average of the previous uh, stubby antenna tests that we ran. So that kind of backs up the fact that the SWR is not good on the two meter band. However, on the 70 centimeter and on the GMRS uh, bands, we got um, just slightly above average on both of those uh, using the field strength uh, meter test. So once again, the good SWR on the, uh, on the 70 centimeter and GMRS bands uh, both show that the field strength was just a little bit better than uh, average on uh, all of our other antennas. So that, uh, that bears out uh, those results as well. Um, last but not least, um, the field testing with the modulation. And um, we came in using two meter band. Uh, we got full quieting into the repeater. Now, I, as bad as the SWR was on this antenna, I was not expecting uh, full quieting into the repeater. But it got out, and it got out well. I can't, uh, I can't completely explain that, um, but uh, there are some antennas that uh, do seem to get out well, even if the SWR isn't all that great. This seems to be one of those uh, type of antennas. Um, so what do I think? I think that if you are the type of person that's going to be using UHF mostly, which is me, uh, I mostly use UHF uh, for uh, all of my uh, repeater work. And uh, this antenna will bear that out, and GMRS as well, uh, will uh, work very well for you. If you're going to be using um, it very little on 2 meter um, or not on 2 meter at all, this might be a good antenna for you. But if you do plan to use this on 2 meter a lot, uh, or you need, to, you need to find a good SHTF uh, uh, antenna that uh, can work both on 2 meter and uh, 70 centimeter bands uh, in case of an emergency, uh, you might want to consider looking at a different antenna. Uh, there are some antennas that I've tested that do a little bit better uh, or a lot better on 2 meter and maybe not quite as good on 70 centimeter. That would make it a good compromise. So you might want to go through some of my, uh, my uh, videos and uh, check those out and see which antenna might uh, be best for you. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, my opinion. And as you know, my motto is one test is, is worth a thousand expert opinions. So you could just got my expert opinion, and I'm not an expert. But we did look through seriously through all of the results, and we came up with what we feel is uh, the best uh, uh, explanation for all the results. Anyway, my name is Dave. I live in Prescott, Arizona. My call sign is N8BAV with my name and my call sign saying 73s to you and so long.